Good morning, everybody. Welcome for the first time We're back to another Is God For Against Me video. Uh, I wanted to kind of talk about the afterlife. I wanted to kind of talk about the scripture where it says to be absent from the body is to be present from the Lord. I was watching a, a couple of videos in the past few days about the Travis Scott incident. And I, when I would actually watch the Christian videos, it's kind of a formula to the way that they do the videos. First, they do the analysis, the expose on what actually happened. If they're exposing dark imagery, if they're exposing and, and shedding light on anything else that may actually be uh, cause corruption to the eyes, you're actually looking at it. But then they go into the part about, you know, where would you be today? Uh, where do you want to go if Jesus Christ was to return? Where would you want to be at today? You know, it, it kind of goes into that that formula. And But I want to focus actually on that part in terms of where do you want to be when Jesus Christ comes back? First of all, in order for you to ever be able to answer that question, do you believe that God came in the form of a human being? He humbled himself. Here you have, if you even if you look at it from a very geekish perspective, from a very cosmic perspective, from a very Star Wars perspective, here you have an entity in the sky. Uh, if even if I wanted to put it in Marvel terms, let's say you had like a uh, you know a Galactus or a Celestial. If that helps you to like understand this and, and bring it more into light, though those things could be seen as gods. But let, let's assume that one of those beings decided to come in the form of a human being, to reduce their power, come in the form of a human being, and be amongst humanity, um, and, and being limited only to the power of somebody being here in the flesh. All right, that's what God did when he came down in the form of his only begotten son, when he came in as the form of Jesus Christ. And uh, to an extent, the Trinity sometimes can be a hard thing to actually grasp and understand. Um, it's a very simple concept, but to actually understand how the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit are one, sometimes it could be so abstract that it's just sometimes hard to actually grasp. But if you actually accept the fact that he you have a God in the sky, our God, the one true living God, and he came down in a form of flesh to actually show humans how to live in this sinful flesh that we're in. If you can actually accept that and believe that that's reality, I think that's the first step into actually you being able to answer the question, can I live, all right? Do I believe that Jesus Christ is actually going to return? I think that is a good first step. Uh, Usually I like to actually propose to the people, do where, where do you think you're going to go? Do you even believe in heaven or hell? Do, where do you think you're going to go when you die? Do you think you're going to be held accountable? Do you think there's any consequences for you in this afterlife? Forget all the racial stuff. Forget all the political crap that we're going on. If you was to lose your life on the next day, what do you think will happen with your, with your life? And, I, and the way that people are living right now, I think they're just kind of throwing away the whole concept of heaven or hell, or they may not even throw it away. They may even believe that it's actually real, but they're trying to figure out ways here on earth to actually, you know what? I want to invest so much energy into this life and into science. I want to figure out how to avoid death altogether so I don't ever have to experience those things and I could just live here on earth in this bliss and this hedonistic, this pleasurable state for as long as I can, for as long as I actually live, if I could actually avoid death. There are a lot of people that, are, that that probably think like that, all right? And I, I think people right now are just living now without the concept of actually believing that there is some sort of dimension beyond where we're at right now. I'm using these term, these terminologies because uh, to just throw around heaven or hell to a lot of you guys, some of you guys, those terms are going to be archaic. They're not archaic to me, but for a lot of you guys out there who are wrapped up in geek culture and comic culture that's the world that i actually come from let me use those terms to better help you out understand and accept that these things are very much so real jesus christ is real um from the whole travis scott um incident there was a there were eight deaths there were eight deaths there's a lot of symbology and um number references and, and the occult involved in that from people's research and analysis i'm not going to get into that but you, when you when you think about those people that lost their lives and, and everything, even on a basic level, even if you don't believe there was an, anything occultic going on and you're thinking that, oh, they're just overthinking. It was just a concert. It was just special effects and, and spookiness. Some of those images have a connection. They have meaning to them for, for you to just dismiss it underneath the statement of it's just a 
to dismiss it underneath that sentence stem, I, I think is benign and is careless, is reckless. So you really have to pay attention and ask the questions, question everything. Why did he have the inverted cross? Why was his stage set just like this? Why, why did he have uh, the, this messaging that says, see you on the other side? What, what is the meaning of all of this? You know, and to be very dismissive of it and just say it's just a uh, and attach whatever you want to. It's just a concert. It's just special effects. Like I said, I think it's very careless and reckless. But he believes if he if he, if he has the messaging of see you on the other side, then he has to believe, too, that there is that, that, that there is something beyond our fleshly body, even though there's people that's just living as if there's not going to be anything uh, beyond this this natural realm that we're actually living in right now so um this is my morning talk for today maybe i'll get into more of these and just add these on the channel but um but i i think it's very if you're living life and you don't believe in some sort of realm outside of this place and the realm that i actually believe in is to be absent from the body is to be present with the lord jesus christ i think that is a great start I think a first start that you need to, if you're wondering if Jesus Christ is real, take it from me. <laughs> I've walked with him for a whole decade right now, and I've seen some things that I can't even explain. There's been doors that's been opened up, things moved around for me that I, my hands had no involvement in. I used to sit up here and work hard and think I'm doing something, but some of the things that actually happened to me, I have no control over whatsoever. All right. So I could really I, maybe I'll do a video getting involved in that and, and going in depth so we can actually have a um, so you can actually maybe be able to learn from a deeper perspective on what that involves. But the supernatural realm is very real. And I, I want you to I, I hope that you believe it. I pray that you believe in it because uh, the people that you don't think do, they do believe in it. All right. That's going to be it for this video right at the seven minute mark. I think that is a great start. See you all in the next one. God bless you all.